Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get the Mac OS X dock on your Windows machine. To do this, go ahead and go to rocketdock.com or go ahead and Google Rocket Dock. Go ahead and click on the first link and I'll also have the link in the description. And go to the top and click download. And download the latest version. And since I already have it, I'm not going to download. And once you download it, go ahead and install and create a desktop icon. From here, go ahead and minimize your window. And now you have the Rocket Dock icon on your desktop. Double click on it to open it up. And as you can see, you have this little dock up here. Go ahead and get rid of all your uh, default folders that came with it and just drag them and throw them outside to your desktop. And just leave the uh, settings and the recycle bin. From here, go to Dock Settings. Go to position and click bottom, then click OK. From here, take your Windows toolbar and drag it to the top. And if it doesn't work, go ahead and unlock the taskbar. And from here, go back into your browser. Now you have to go to the same exact link. It's called rocketdoc.com slash add-on slash skin slash 4939. I'll have this in the description. And download the Mac OS X skin. Save the file where you know you're going to find it easily. And you can close out of the uh, browser. Once the file finishes downloading, go ahead and right click it. Extract all. Next. Next. And finish. Now you can go ahead and copy the extracted file. You can close out of that, go to Start, My Computer, Local Disk, Program Files, and look for a folder named Rocket Doc. Go ahead and open that up. Go to Skins, and paste it in here. You can now go ahead and close out of this window. And you can go into Dock Settings. Go to your Theme and choose the Mac OS X Leopard and click OK. You can now add um, the programs you use uh, most often to your dock. In this case I'm going to add Internet Explorer. I'm going to add Firefox. I'm going to add Pinnacle Studio. I'm going to add IMG Burn. Media Center, Windows Media Player, QuickTime, and iTunes. Now obviously this looks too cluttered so you can add separators by going in between the objects, right clicking, add item, and go to separator. Now you have this little line right here. So I'm going to put all the uh, Apple software together, all my browsers, all my video editing software, and my window media players and video players and stuff like that. And I'm just going to keep the recycling, the recycle bin and the uh, dock settings together. And that's pretty much it. So once you add the uh, objects you can go back into dock settings but before you do that you can now either right click this go to properties you can auto hide the taskbar or you can just drag this up like that so you can't see it anymore because there's no official way of getting rid of this and go here dock settings you can go into icons you can change the quality of the icons I'm gonna choose high quality you can choose the uh, size of your toolbar the more icons it's gonna look more cluttered and it's gonna be uh, too confusing some of them might be uh, sticking off the screen so if you have a lot of icons go with a smaller size and you and it looks nicer if it's a little bit smaller too and then you can increase the zoom 
so I could like make it a really small size and I could make my zoom um, maximum 128 and zoom width you could play around with that and then once you do that you can go into um, general and you can also click run running application indicator that's the black line you get when a program is open and if you go to behavioral you can click on the bounce effect when you click on an object and click OK now when I go over the uh, icons as you could see they expand to the zoom size I uh, set in the settings and you know you could change this the more icons you have you know you have to, you have to change it and make it look nice so once you do that, now you have to get rid of these uh, shortcuts on your desktop. But just in case you want to uninstall this later on, you can uh, save your shortcuts by uh, going by removing Internet Explorer and the recycling bin to the side, and then selecting all these, and then right-click and say Cut, and then open that up. Go to My Documents and then make a desktop folder open it up and paste them in here and now you can close this out recycling bin you can't really get rid of unless you go into your registry so you're gonna have to look up on how to do that and then go to Internet Explorer and usually this one you might have trouble cutting it so delete it and just say yes and that's how it, it usually gets rid of it so yeah put Internet Explorer to the side because if you try selecting all including Internet Explorer you might not have the cut option so we'll remove it to the side and then delete it and now that's pretty much it you have all your icons here you can get the uh, Mac OS 10 background wallpaper and you have a really clean desktop environment to work on all your files will be downloaded here and it looks pretty nice it's actually really smooth but right now since I'm recording it looks a little bit laggy but when you're working on it it's actually really smooth and it works great you could see I'm going to open up Mozilla and it's going to bounce. And it opens up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, uh, leave me a message, any comments. Uh, please rate this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.